present this uh, our project, which is the rock, paper, and scissors game. Next slide, please. So, as the title suggests, our project is a rock, paper, scissors circuit game, and and it also comes with a score that is like one to zero to and, and tie something like that. In the circuit, there are switches, there are lights and score displays, which all serve this different purposes. And in this pre presentation, we will, will recap uh, what we have done throughout the, our project. And there, uh, we will also explain the, what, what is the, the project. And, there will be timeline, the design, and what issues we have uh, faced, and and the con conclusion of the project, and yeah, like that. Next slide, please. And here is the the uh, timeline for for our project, and as you can see, like here, and we start off and in April and then right after we start, we brainstorm some ideas and, and, uh, and we all of, all of us just like brainstorm the idea and after brainstorming the idea, we, we, we research on the, on the topic like, like this circuit game and also yeah, and finding the parts and like, looking at how, how they work and to put them together. And then, and after that, we, we get uh, the parts we need and starting to build the circuit and, and like get, and get the parts like that. And then um, we, uh, the team split up and and one side we, we can see uh, and they write the code for the scoring display and the other they uh, assembled the main circuit. And then after like the, those process, they put them together and then, then just like combining into one circuits and whole things and then and then at, at the last uh, few weeks uh, we conducted some tests for the for the circuits and and fixed problems that might occur during the testing um, next slide please yeah, and here shows the parts that uh, we need for this uh, project. And uh, we need two breadboard and some cables, some uh, six stitches, a voltage regulator, some AED lights, and Arduino Uno, and some gates and resistors and decoders and some displays and some capacitors. and that's basically uh, what we we need for the for the circuit. All right. So the circuit design starts with a current of twelve volt that goes to the regulator, which have two capacitors that give an output of five volts. Um, this goes to the switches, which are located um, three on each side of the board that represents uh, rock, papers, and scissors. Uh, next slide, please. So um, as we see in, the, in this diagram, each switch has a three, uh, 230 ohms resistor that is uh, connected to her. Right after a switch is activated or pressionated, this uh, sends a signal that goes to an AND gate. We, if um, that word that if all the inputs uh, of the gates are high, the answer will be sent, it's going to be high. But if all or some inputs are low, the answer will be low. Um, 
right after um, this information go to an OR gate, which evaluate uh, the true when either one of the inputs are high, as we can see in the table on the right corner. An OR gate um, works as assumed, so if um, only so is only low when both answers are low. In all other occasions, the answer is going to be high. Um, finally, this uh, logic goes through another resistor of 330 ohms, which reduces the current the current to 1.7 volts. That goes to an LED. Um, that shows which player wins uh, with a if I'm wrong with uh, yellow um, light, and if the match is uh, tie, it will show a red light. So next slide, please. All right. Um, in the case of the counter display, uh, this gets the information for the logic of the OR gate. Um, this is connected to an Arduino, which uh, decodes them, uh, this information to make an ascending content for every time that the logic uh, sends a high signal. The Arduino sends the information to a seven segment decoder that is connected to a seven segment display, which um, will show the number that goes from one to nine and say uh, which player is winning. Uh, so okay. as for the code, this is just one section of the code because it's I can't really put all of it. So basically the code has uh, two functions. Each one is uh, display functions and then it has the main loop. And essentially the main loop will read from the two pins that, can, that uh, each one pin is for uh, player one winning and the other pin is for player two winning. And I'll read those pins whether they're high. And then when it does that, it will be three if conditional statements. One of the if conditional statements will be for if the player one, it gets an input for their win and the other one is for player two. And then the last uh, if conditional statement to, if we want to reset the loop is if the score gets to a high score. So for example, since this can't go past nine, we could set it to nine. Um, or if we wanted to, we could set it to three or five. And essentially it would be if either one of the scores gets to that point, it'll then delay for a couple seconds and then reset the score and the display so the game can start over again. And then the other two if conditional statements for each player will increase their score by one if they get an input. And then they will call one of these display functions, one for each display that will then send the electric current to the displays and because of the uh, decoder uh, it can work in binary so it, it doesn't need to it, we don't need full seven uh, inputs we only need four and then we can do like high for one so high low low is all is one but then if you know two it's just low high low low as for the testing um, when we use the main circuit uh, we tested it first by itself uh, and, and when we did that we also you know, measured current to make sure that we weren't getting too much or too little. Uh, and the main circuit does work and it lights up well. Uh, we also tested the display on its own. And so to see first if, you know, if it worked. And when we tested the display on its own, the uh, lights did light up and did give the right numbers that we expected to get. So the circuit was connected properly in that way. The, there was an issue that did arise. So for problems, there were minor setbacks when it came to um, the main circuit, but most of those were pretty easy. It was just like, you know, figuring out where to put some of the wires. But the, one of the bigger problems we had at the very end that we didn't actually end up solving was when we connected the two circuits, we had this issue where it would, when reading the uh, inputs, it seemed to continually read high the entire time, even when it was off. And so it would ke keep counting. It would go one, two, three, four, uh, you know, up to the high score. So that was a problem. In conclusion, we were able to work on and uh, learn how to do the main circuit as well as a display circuit and kind of work with Arduino and code. Um, and at the end, we had we did 